Some people on YouTube are just beyond saving, guys. Like, you can say you want somebody to do better, whatever that means, but they're just, they're lost, okay? And to be honest with you, I think Katie Joy fits this, like, demographic of people. It's like, th this this group of people that's just, like, too helpless. They, 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 they're, ju they're just lost. Lost in the sauce. All right, without a crystal ball. I've talked about this channel a few times on uh, on here. Uh, I had an altercation with them last summer or whatever. Uh, the lady that runs this channel, Katie Joy, she's some like middle aged like mom YouTuber. She talks about like tea drama and you know normie shit basically. Um, shit that I don't tend to really cover. Here's the thing though, and if you don't know this before, I would like to direct you to my other videos on Katie Joy. But she's crazy, all right. She is currently getting sued by Taddy Westbrook. The same girl that made the video on James Charles way back, you know, the, the whole vitamin scandal. Yeah, that person. The 9 million sub YouTuber Taddy Westbrook is suing this person because this person, Katie Joy, is like crazy. She's like digging into Taddy's like, you know, uh, birth certificates and like looking into like Taddy's family members and seeing like if they're involved in any like crime or whatever. Like this person is crazy. Uh, a word that's been applied to Katie has been stalking. Like she's a stalker. And to be honest, when I hear that word, I I'm cringe a little. All right, it's like oh stalking. That usually just means research. All right, we all do research on people. We all look into people that we're talking about just to know more about the person. What this person is doing, I would actually agree with, is legit stalking though. Like looking into people, like full on doxing them, looking into like their marriage licenses and birth certificates and stuff to try to like find out like who this person's family is and if they're involved in some sort of crime. Like it goes from just researching for your YouTube drama video to just full out uh, harassing. All right. I would say that that is actually harassment and I and I am hesitant to actually use that word. But come on now, this person is legit crazy. But anyway, we all know this, and I am kind of late to talking about this stuff, but I wanted to talk about it anyway, just because it's just absolutely nutty what this person is doing. So this is our friend Creep Show. She put out a tweet. She said, Katie put a privacy strike on my video because, get this, I showed her email address, which is publicly displayed on her YouTube channel. All right, so you see that email right there? I guess technically I can't show you guys this, even though it's in the about section to her channel. I can probably pull it up right now. Yeah, come on, show me that shit. Yeah, there it is, right there. I guess that's doxing by showing it, even though that's her publicly listed email. Well, Creepshow did a video t shit talking this person. She showed the email, and apparently she got a privacy complaint for that because that's a private email. This is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your video. Showing the timestamp of the video being, oh, her email account. Which is crazy, because not only is that her publicly listed email, but that's the same email she used for her recent giveaway. She just launched a giveaway, and her contact method to enter into the giveaway is emailing it. Like, what the, what are we even dealing with here, dude? This is insane. This person is crazy. Absolutely nutty. And the worst part is, Creepshow's not the only one who got a privacy complaint. Other channels that cover this as well uh, got privacy complaints too, including True Sleuth. Uh, Tipster didn't get one though because he actually redacted the email because he saw this coming from a mile away. But yeah, look at True Sleuth over here, another T channel. LOL, Katie Joy filed a privacy complaint for one of my videos. Katie, you really shouldn't be worrying about people's videos about you. You have a lot more serious things to worry about. Focus on your own hanky channel. Leave me and mine alone. Which is absolutely crazy. Because privacy complaints, obviously, are supposed to be sent to people that, you know, do dox you. Like, if somebody doxes you, you can send a complaint. If somebody shows your public business email, that's not doxing. All right? And, you know, I know I have a lot of new viewers now. My channel's, like, you know, really grown recently since I last covered this person. Let me just remind you something and explain why this person is so nutty in the first place and why I'm even talking about this. Katie Joy, the owner without a crystal ball, threatened to sue me because I leaked our DMs, even though I didn't technically leak them. I DM'd her while I was streaming once because she was, like, fucking up a story and I was DMing her, like, what are you talking about? And I was DMing her while the messages were showing on screen. And she thought because of that, she could sue me, I guess? I don't know. She since apologized for it, but right after she apologized for threatening to sue me and a whole bunch of other people, she then threatened to sue a whole bunch of other people. So, yeah, not the most stable individual. 
Now I'm going to leech off of Tipster here for a second. Again, you should sub to Tipster. He's the best source of news. But I'm going to go I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this clip if I can speak where she's talking about flagging channels and restreaming her. Please report her video. She cannot do this. This is like against terms of service. So she was streaming and apparently somebody else was streaming her with commentary, which is allowed. And she goes a full Karen on him and starts saying like, oh, that's against the terms of service. Come on. Come on. Is she like, if reporting? She's literally directing people to watch and listen. That means they're going to come here. And if you're coming here from her channel, you are going to be blocked automatically. <laughs> oh yeah, I think I think that's actually the reason she threatened to sue me as well because I was sending trolls to her channel, even though I was literally just like watching her content on my channel with commentary. I wasn't saying like, oh, go over here, you know. Alright, there's a little bit too much dead space in this video. Look at how serious she looks. She can't live stream me either. <laughs> Is that her tapping her phone, like reporting it or something? Like, she's like audibly, like just tapping her screen, like frantically. Like, oh, dude, tr trolls are coming to my channel. Oh, shit. So please report her video. If she's live streaming me, if she's got me on, please report her video. You can't tell people to report people's channels. Like, you're the one saying that's against the rules, all right? But you can't direct your audience to flag people. That's also against the rules. All right, well, I'll do it from my computer. <laughs> she has to get up from her computer, dude. Oh my gosh, this is so AIDS. This reminds me when I was like trolling a Twitch streamer once and like, I wasn't being mean or whatever, malicious. I was just like saying stuff in chat or whatever. And she had to like, call her husband into the room and ask him to block me and I'm just like what, what are you doing like oh I have to get up let me just go get up and go block you why who cares yeah guys I don't know if you guys uh, are getting the message or not but this chick is legit crazy she's absolutely nutty and she's now I mean I say she's now but she's always been flagging people's videos threatening to sue people just anything to shut people up uh, she can absolutely not take criticism and even if there's legit people messing with her, she has come out and testified that there are legit people doxing her and messing with her, which I don't stand for. But it makes her whole case a lot. It's harder to feel sympathy for her when she is literally doing stuff to other people, but then stuff is happening to her and she wants sympathy for it. It's hard to feel sorry about that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, she's nutty. And I don't know. Even though I'm late to the topic, I just want to come on <laughs> to shit on her a little bit because it's absolutely crazy what she's been uh, getting away with on YouTube. Any person that openly promotes false flagging people's channels, they're on my radar, all right? And I want to make sure that I have a nice, clean documentation of it happening on this channel. So when people ask, hey, why do you hate Katie Joy so much? I could just be like, oh, I did a video right here where she was literally sending people to flag people and sending privacy complaints over her business email that she uses in her videos, in her descriptions, in her giveaways, in her channel, you know, descriptions. So, yeah, absolutely crazy. Probably shouldn't mess with her. I mean, it goes out saying, if you're from my channel, don't go over to her channel and mess with her. Uh, because, well, <laughs> I don't want to get sued, guys. It's really that simple.